Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we are going to be talking about an alternative scheme to buying a property that you may not have heard of. Now, admittedly, this scheme wasn't on my radar and it's only recently come to my attention, but it also seems that many people don't know about this scheme either. So what scheme is it? It's called the Way Home Gradual Ownership Scheme. So without further ado, let's understand what it is, how it works, and if it's worth considering. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly address the lack of content over the last few weeks on this channel. The reason being is that one, I did go on holiday, and secondly, my full-time job has been really intensive recently, and coupled with some technical issues whilst recording has meant that making content was that little extra harder. But alas, I am back, and although it's not with the second part of how to invest video, um, that I originally planned and I did record, but that has been riddled with so many technical issues, so I'm delaying that for another week. I am nonetheless back. Okay, so enough chit chat, let's get into it. So what is the scheme? So unlike other schemes that I've spoken about on this channel, this one in fact is not a government scheme. This is a scheme run by a privately owned company called Wayhome. Wayhome has been established since 2016 with the aim to help aspiring owners to, and I quote, are not the deep-rooted problems that plague home ownership. So how does this scheme work? How it works is that you go into a partnership with Wayhome to buy a property. All you have to do is pay at least a 5% deposit for a home and Wayhome buys the rest. This means there is no traditional mortgage needed to buy a property, you just need to come up with the deposit and Wayhome will pay for the rest. This means that you and Wayhome both become co-owners of the home. For the share of the property that you don't own, you do have to pay rent to Wayhome. The amount of rent you do pay is dependent on how much of the property you own. The larger the deposit or ownership that you have, the less rent you have to pay. So how do you qualify? To be eligible for the Wayhome Gradual Ownership Scheme, you do need to meet the following criteria. First, you need to have a household income between 24,000 to 140,000 before tax, have a deposit between five to 30% of the property, with the minimum deposit limit being 7,500 pounds, you also need to pass a soft credit check, be aged 21 and 55 years old, be a British citizen or have settled or pre-settled status or have an indefinite leave to remain in the UK and you have also lived in the UK for the last three years, have no criminal record, own no other properties at the time of buying. So this scheme is applicable for first time buyers and those moving home. For those that are moving home, your existing property will need to have been sold before buying a property with way home. For those that are self-employed, you need to have a minimum of one year's worth of tax returns. And lastly, and this is a bit of a weird one, if you are buying with a partner or if they're not buying with you but they are living with you, they will need to be stated on the application as well and also meet the criteria that I've just mentioned. Now it does seem a little bit weird that even if your partner isn't purchasing the property with you, then why on earth do they need to be on this form? The reason Wayhome have provided is that, and I quote, as your partner's finances could affect your own, which is why we also ask for information about their income and outgoings. So that is the entire criteria as a whole. So let's understand how to go about the buying process. Well, you can only buy properties that are listed on their website. And as you can see, they cover major areas around England with the prices of these properties ranging between 150,000 to 500,000. Now, if there is a home you actually want to buy, but it isn't listed, you can actually request Wayhome to review the property and see if it can be part of the scheme. They do have their own criteria, which I'll list now, but it's important to remember that Wayhome in itself is a business and will only want to buy properties that they believe will be a good return on investment. Hence the criteria. Once you have found a property you like, Wayhome will do all the negotiation on price for you, which can be really helpful, especially as these are professionals at buying properties and they too have an invested interest to get the price as low as possible. So you can feel fairly certain that you are getting a good deal with them. Wayhome do state that the typical length of time to buy a property with them is between two to four months on average, with some cases taking up to six months. So although buying a property is rarely straightforward or quick, it actually took me five months to buy this property, but that was during the peak of the pandemic, which did cause havoc on the mortgage market. So I would say when all things are normal, this process does seem to be a bit on the slow side. So do take the length of time into account. As I've already mentioned, you will need to come up with a deposit of at least 5% of the property, and the amount that you can borrow can be up to 10% of the household income. Wayhome will examine your income and costs to determine how much you can borrow through their own assessment. But if we do compare this to normal routes, 
most lenders let you get a mortgage of 4.5 times the household income. So this scheme does allow for those on lower incomes to potentially access more funds than if they went via the normal mortgage route. It is worth noting that all costs associated with buying a house, such as a solicitor and surveyor fees, are also shared. So if you are buying 5% of the property, you pay 5% of the cost and Wakeman will pay the rest. Please do be wary of e-stamp duty costs as they are handled slightly differently when you buy through this scheme. So because you are buying with Wayhome, you will be taxed as a corporate buyer rather than an individual. So even if you are a first time buyer, under normal rules, you would have received tax relief on your purchase, but under this route, there is no relief. The entire purchase price of the property is subject to stamp duty. The corporate rate starts off at 3% and then goes to 8%. Again, like with all costs, they are shared between you and Wayhome. So if you own 5%, you will only pay 5% of the stamp duty tax bill. For the share of the property that you don't own, you will have to pay rent to Wayhome. The way the rent amount is calculated is that Wayhome will compare similar homes in the area and determine a fair price. The example that they give on their own website is that if you own 5% of your home and rent is typically £1,000 per month, you only have to pay 95% of that rent. So that would be £950 per month. So that are all the costs associated with getting the property. Bills and rent will be the ongoing costs that you would have to cover just like you would when renting a property. And the rental price does go up annually in line with the rate of inflation. So if you pay £1,000 today and inflation is 2% next year, next year you will be paying £1,020 in rent. So you can gradually gain more ownership in your property as time goes by hence the name Gradual Ownership Scheme. The maximum ownership you can get gradually, and I'm emphasizing that word for a reason, is up to 40%. If you do want to buy any more than 40%, you will have to buy the remaining 60% from Wayhome in one go. You can do this with cash you have saved or by getting a mortgage and buying them out that way. One additional note on this is that Wayhome will enforce an early buyout period in your agreement, which will range from five to 10 years. If you buy them out within this time frame, you will have to reimburse them on any buying costs such as stamp duty tax and legal fees. So this can be quite expensive. If you buy outside of the time frame, the costs will be waived. So this is definitely worth noting. Going back to the gradual ownership method or what is commonly known as staircasing, you can only do this up to 40% of the property. You can buy shares from as little as 50 pounds per month and there are no admin fees included. Some fees will be deducted to pay for stamp duty and surveyor fees. Now I couldn't actually find an example on their website on what these fees are and how they're calculated. They just say it's a small portion, but they do give an example. They say buying 100 pounds more of your home, only six pounds will go to paying costs and the remaining 94 pounds will be for the home. Assuming that this fee rate is fixed, that means costs for every time you staircase will be 6%. Again, this is assuming that the rate is constant. Maybe it gets cheaper the more you acquire in one go, but I'm not too sure. Now, I know this doesn't sound much, but that's because we are dealing with small numbers in this example. Buying a house usually means you are dealing in the tens of thousands, and 6%, if it is constant, is really expensive if you are going to be staircasing quite a lot. So I would encourage you to speak with Wayhome and get these fees clarified before going any further. You are capped at buying more than 5% of your property per year via staircasing, and this is to detract individuals who don't necessarily need to use the scheme, but want to take advantage of it. So if you decide not to buy the house fully outright, you can decide to sell the property. If you do want to do this, you will have to notify Wayhome, who will decide along with their investing partners if they want to A, buy your shares off you, or B, sell their shares with you. And they have three months to make this decision. If they decide to go with option A and buy your shares, they have a further three months to buy it from you. If they go with option B and sell it, all costs and revenues associated from the sale will be split accordingly to the ownership percentage between you and Wayhome. And obviously, because you are selling on the market, the time it takes for this to happen can either be really quick or really slow. It's important to note that until you sell the property, whether it's through option A or B, until it happens, you will need to continue to live in the property and pay rent. So is this scheme worth considering? So there are definitely pros to the scheme, such as you are not restricted to purchasing only new build properties, like you are with other government-led schemes. 
where you instead actually tend to look for older properties with established prices. The fees associated to buying a property are evenly split between you and Way Home, and the process of staircasing does seem to be a little bit easier than other schemes. You can also redecorate the property as you please, as long as there's no major structural work done, which isn't the case for other schemes as well. However, there are some cons to consider, and there are really two things you really want to investigate before signing any agreement with Wayhome. Firstly, is to understand how the fees are broken down and calculated every time you staircase. Remember, Wayhome in itself is a business, so rent and staircasing are probably one of their key ways to make money. And because information online with respect to these fees are quite limited, I would really question how it is calculated. Because although this scheme may be good to initially get onto the property ladder, ultimately for most people, we want to eventually have full ownership of our property. So you need to determine if doing it through Way Home is affordable. And secondly, find out what the early buyout window is, and if possible, negotiate it to the smallest term possible as well, which would be five years. Fees when buying a house easily get into the thousands, so the benefit Way Home gives you on low cost fees can seem a bit redundant if an early buyout period is lengthy, especially if staircasing turns out to be quite a pricey option to go for. So what you want to try and determine is that if staircasing does end up being an expensive option, can buying them out early be a more affordable option in the long term? Also for first time buyers, you will lose any stamp duty tax allowance advantages when you buy through this scheme. And because of buying a property with Way Home is going to be based on corporate tax rates, the tax applies on every penny of the property, which doesn't happen if you are buying on an individual scale. Overall, buying a property is never straightforward, and because so many factors are in play, this scheme may work for some and not for others. If you want a run through of all the government led schemes that are available, check out my early video where I go through every scheme possible, and this can help you to decide whether Way Home is the right scheme for you. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. If you do have any further questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. I would really appreciate if you also gave this video a huge like, that does wonders for the growth of my YouTube channel. And remember, I release content every single week, so if you wanna keep up to date with those, hit the subscribe button too. See you later, bye.